Hello, let's uh, launch MTG Arena. And as my purpose of my other videos, I'm launching it via Hyper-V. And these are my Hyper-V machines, as you can see from the uh, notes at the bottom. And Windows 10D is my MTG Arena one. So this is how quick it starts. So you just click Start. Eventually. And then on this summary here, you see a little window. And you'll see the log on screen. And there she is, fully up and running. And this is an icon I get to do the window, which I'll explain how, uh, why and uh, how to do this at another video one day. Put me password. Connecting to it, remote desktop. There we go. So I'm now logged in. Okay, let's go and launch Empty G Arena. And this is my first cat twist deck. There seems to be an awful lot of um, creature decks out there at the moment. Not long ago it was all red and planeswalkers. It is blue cat spells and planeswalkers. If you see my other videos, you know I'm a cat lover, so that's why uh, it was quite hard actually to build a decent cat deck because it's can be quite easy to kill them out. So I've got various decks I built up here, but this is the one I've got at the moment. So I'm going to show you the deck first. I'll go through over the cards and then I'm going to show you the theme. So, Four Sacred Cats. I didn't like this card at first, uh, Shaper's Sanctuary, but it's doing quite well at the moment. I'll tell you more about it later. So, there's three of those Four Adorn Pouncers, Four Anita Priests, Anno, uh, Anno Inter Priests, I think. One Resplendent Angel. I'm still testing that one out. Could be one to get rid of if people want to change in which cards you want to dump to you like. Four Pride of Sovereign. Three Anointed Procession. Four Leonin War Leader. Four Crested Sun Mare. Great looking kitty that one. <laughs> Four Regal Caracal. Three Mortal Sun. And in the land, 15 Plains, three Forests, and four Sun Petal Grove. And have a quick look at the stats here. As you can see, I've got 29 creatures, nine non creature spells, and 22 land. 28 white cards, seven green. And three artifacts. Okay. Oh. I seem to be missing a card. So there's actually one card on that. Oh, where is it? Uh, oh, so accidentally clicked that one. Oh, there it is. One Legion's Landing. So yes, I'm playing 61 instead of 60. I always remember a friend of mine. Called two, who said 61 if you can't get him down quite right, you know, to 60, it don't make that difference. And if you just got one special card rather than making one of these four, I think it's okay. And there's lots of people out there saying, nah, 60 because it's the stats, but it's just so tiny to get in a good card like this to add in. You know, you can always, as I say, take one of the other ones out later on, like this one, if you want to get down to 60, but that's a good card, and you'll see why later on. Okay, the theme of the deck. It's tokens and life gaining. So these cats come back as tokens. So if people kill them, you can get them back again. This one here is for, uh, oh, sorry, Shaper's Sanctuary. That's there. So 
they're always targeting your creatures. There's an awful lot of enchantment grabs at the moment, so I'm going to grab that one and nullify it and stuff. Yep, fine. I'll go and get another card. This one again. The double strike is pretty cool, and obviously you can come back as a token. This one here, every time you get a token, you gain life, and uh, it also comes back itself. So uh, it gains life there as well, which is quite cool. Your life can go quite high. Resplendent Angel, that one again, it was flying, which is nice. If you gain five life, which is very easy in this one, you get another flyer. I've only put one in there because it could be sent times when you don't gain life at that quantity. This cat grows bigger when there's more cats, but of course also it creates cat tokens, so you know you gain two life if you have one of these pre sack this car is amazing so i thought i'd give it a go and uh, i don't like cars they don't do anything on their own but you know because all these other cars keep coming back you get an awful lot of tokens and it's a way of putting lots more creatures down without actually having lots of cre uh, car in your hand so if someone goes suddenly goes wipe i think yeah killed all your creatures then you put another one down and this goes and it's something oh, bloody hell it's only got a load of creatures again just for the sake of a couple of cards that's that's bonkers that card is when it gets going of course this creates cat tokens again it goes with annoy to priest for gaining life and it goes for this card here for creating lots of creatures this horse here uh, i'll put this in there because again it creates a token and nearly there's an awful lot of my tokens that actually have life link so you just attack with a 1 1 life link creature or block with a 1 1 life link creature and then you get another you get another horse um, and all those horses are actually uh, you know have hex proof so if you have two of these main card ones out they've all got hex proof so that's quite cool but you know a 5 5 for 5 with all that kind of stuff is pretty cool regal caracol again that brings out two cat tokens with lifelink and it feeds off all the other cards it, it, it's just amazing how many creatures you can have and then this one here obviously gives every all the creatures plus one plus one your spells then become a lot less uh, to cast you get two cards a turn which you really do need and if you do come across uh, players with uh, planeswalker decks i find a lot of the matchups now are quite long-winded and take a long time so you're there draw go draw go draw go and then it's someone who ever gets a big planeswalker out and they've got all over their creatures and you can't really get through and all this kind of thing stand off and they just have a free go so that this card will um, swing it for you one way or another and it's amazing how very few times you actually get this card out so I've put three in and you can only play one at a time but when they blow one up and you can put another one out and it's it's really cool. Right, uh, I'm going to have a quick game now. Uh, I can. And we'll see how the deck performs. Now, the only time I tend to lose is... MTG Arena seems to be absolutely atrocious at shuffling your deck. Now, you either get a lot of no land or a lot of all land. And you can kind of feel when it's going to happen. It happens far too frequent. I, I actually prefer like having four land in your open hand if you can. These are all low casting costs because I mean I might not get any more land because it's quite regular. If you get I start off with two, you seem to never get any more. Fairly regular, not all the time. We'll see. Or if you have four, you end up drawing four more land. But I'm going to go with this. Looks good, everything's cheap to cast. So again, we've got a sacred cat there. One, one for one, and it comes back for one. It's uh, double striking. It's pretty cool, especially the first, you know, when it gets a first strike, there's a lot of one ones or two ones out there. And again, you get him back. Oh, another good thing about these um, embalm cards. Oh, better play a card. I didn't realise it was my turn. He's ready, sorry. 
is when they mill you, because there's a lot of mill decks out there, you get them back in, you get them in your hands, so they actually give you cards. Hey, they don't like it. No, they don't. Okay. The reason how often they get this opening in hand, you know, I've played with eight owls and stuff and never got it. Alright, let's put this down. Um, I want to get this out so in case they start fanning around with my creatures and f they do an awful lot of uh, f fight cards. Once a block with his 1 1, I, uh, I'd appreciate it. Okay, first blood. First cut is the deepest. <laughs> You're right. It's good I got a land there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No point attacking at the moment. Of course, this car's going to pump all these up at the moment. I've got no non. I need land really at this point. Hmm, definitely. Keep it up. <laughs> One more land after this would be great. Should have attacked there actually. Yeah, he's doing very bad, isn't he? <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this one. Just gonna. Just got trample, isn't it? This one. Oh, it uh, has just got trample. <laughs> okay, I'll just. Look at one of them. Because I get one line. If we get a land next turn, it'll be a bit different. Asking ye shall get. I don't know what you need to do is you can kind of need to stave off the attacks and then start drawing some of your power spells.
I don't cast anything in the deck, so what I don't want is any more land. Come on, you know you're... Oh, so you see what I mean? <laughs> this is what you get. I'm not going to play that, obviously. Keep them guessing. You really have got to try and keep the land in your deck below what you'd normally play. Just because this shuffling in here, in this... If I remain MTG Arena is really that bad. So you can probably play about one more, you know, if you had a real card and you're playing against an opponent, you play, and you say, oh, I need 24, you play 23 in this, 22, so I mean, oh, 22 if you can. So let's play that land anyway, because there are some cards that need it. And here we go. So what have I got there? Six, seven, eight land. Yeah. Mm hmm. This is the only reason, you know, so I've got a massive, fantastic, bloody uh, presence here, and I can't do anything about it. I want to attack. Deep joy. Right, I don't think I want to attack with my... One of these, because it's starting to get a bit large, isn't it? So it's going to come back. I gain life as well, which is cool. Because I don't like being on six... Uh, I can only want it, so that's 10 in it, so okay, I've only oh, got 10 land, so just a 1 for now. Let's it through, great. If you just box with a 1-1. One, one. 2 life, it's better than kicking a... In your wallet. Yeah, I thought you might. Right, I get 4 life, maybe Let's play a land. Land. Oh, should automatically pass the turn there, I think. We're gonna get land as well. Probably got us both got the same problem. Yeah. Come on, first one. Okay, I well, don't mind that. Uh, let's pop that in. So I can cast that. Let's go come back. So keep letting them through. That's fine by me. I'm going to attack with another one. One uh, to do. Having all these life gaining cards, it just means that when you have to stand off, you just keep gaining life. Yeah, it's letting them die. Cool. But I want to cast a 4 4. This is where, you know, if I had the card out to gain me life, or the horse, or anything other than bloody land. <laughs> An artifact draw two or two would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, this has got a, this has got an anti. Yes, yeah, so what's this one do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ask and ease you get. Now, do you think I should attack this six six? Double striking life gainer. Hmm. Not sure. <laughs> oh, my baby kitties. Right, so. I think it's combat time. So I haven't got enough mana to cast another one, so I'm just going to attack this big boy. Unless you get something absolutely amazing out of the uh, draw. Well, one of us gets something amazing. I don't think he can win this one. Oh, he's got no surprises in his hand. Ooh. Come on in. Oh, uh, chicken, eh? Uh, right, anyway, let's put that one out there. 
he's got nothing amazing. And he might block with that creature to actually get draw a card, but I literally can't go wrong with attacking with these two. I really want to get my life up to about 40, 50, so if he does attack with a load. Yes, yeah, what I thought I would have done by now, but... Yep, fair enough. Well, he's going to lose that... Uh, he's going to get two cards from it, fair enough. All right with that. I'll get me then 6-6. Six, six. Oh, charming. Um, I think I want to kill this card. Just in case he's trying something to give it all life, let's do that. I've got now I've got another six six double striking life gaining beastie. So he's done one, he's six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, no way of getting out of there. Eventually, I'm going to draw something. Okay, didn't get to see a lot, but that's one way of winning the game. Uh, I think you get the gist. If anybody wants to see um, any more gameplays, um, please put some comments in and subscribe. Makes me want to do these videos. I'm actually doing two videos at exactly the same time, funny enough. I'm doing a razor blade loop backed up OBS screen recording video at the same time as I'm doing this one. So, um, trying to... Uh, Get a presence going. So if you want to see more of these things, more regular, give us an update. Well, give us a subscribe and I'll give you an update. <laughs> Goodbye.